Okay, major yard work today, or garden work today, because things got crazy real fast with the heat. Crazy hectic. And look, so I'm going to get these seeds from here. Even though it'll take five years probably to actually bloom to a flower, at least I can keep them and save them for another time. And yeah, a lot of garden crazy hecticness happened. And it's been 100 degrees pretty much for about two weeks. And we've had rain though, that which is great. This whole thing tipped over. <laughs> so that's barely surviving. And it's fine though, I've got to fix it. That's how it goes. But I'm trying to plot out now going forward into the summer. So July, August, into the fall. <sighs> and I pulled out the potato plants. Well, actually, I had somebody help me do it, and there was not a lot, but it's fine. It was fun. It was fun to grow. And the thing is, this thing tipped over onto the potato plants. <laughs> so, I got a new water hose. The, other, the water hose also got a hole in it. But, so, I just put in these flowers real quick because whenever we cut that tree, we cut the tree, and a ton of sun comes through now, right here. And this is my shade flower area. So that was a bust. <laughs> but hopefully they can pull through. <laughs> my little bleeding heart plant. Is, this one's still kind of surviving. I'm trying to maybe grow these things. And I'm going to start growing some summer, like some heat things right here. So I'm going to put like a cucumber right here, hopefully. Even though it's shady right now, but it gets that afternoon heat, like, straight here. Afternoon sun, right here. And my little still be, it's cooked. <laughs> so, those are probably going to die. And, yeah, so that's just been my gardening experience my whole last five years. Like, <sighs> doing something, and then something else happens, and then it messes it up, but it's fine. We needed to cut that tree anyway. It was, it was, I'm glad we did it though. But, so, now, um, my friend gave me these little flowers that are about to die. They were gonna die. She didn't have a place to put them, so I was like, oh, I'll take them. And they're, they like, hopefully they'll survive. I don't know. Then I'm gonna put a squash here. Since it likes a little bit more heat. And, yeah, this is to see the sun just beats down right here now. But, we'll see. I just need to clean it up, tidy it up. And we had a lot of storms, like crazy flooding, like a lot of rain. So, like, mud is everywhere. The dirt is everywhere. But, oh, well. I gotta clean up all this and then get actually situated where it's gonna stay nice and this whole area gets sunny now too so I'm like okay I gotta figure that out what else let's survive these last couple weeks oh, rutabagas I think I don't even know what this is I forgot I don't know Oh, the sunflower came up in the front yard. The, um, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> this heat, it's like, soil temp is probably like 95. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah, and I need to water this. My marigolds did survive, but it's the heat is continually getting it. Getting it. It bloomed though. It's pretty. At least I got one so far, and then there's some other blooms on it. Hopefully, we'll see how long it lasts. I can't believe it actually. That was fun to watch, actually. I was surprised those seeds survived. There's one right here. And then my chrysanthemum. 
bush is so gorgeous. Like, I'm so glad I got these when I got these. I just need to water them, remulch, because we cut the bush apparently, and all this stuff is everywhere. I did the hedges, yeah. But um, somebody else did too, and I got it. Well, but um, yeah, the chrysanthemum. And then got a new little water water thing because I was just without a sprayer. Like, I got one here. Luckily. I'm not a big fan of sunflowers. Like I never really thought they were like too pretty, but I try. I try because that's what I was trying to figure out. Like what will survive because it gets so hot. And everything I would plant that I like dies, so it's like, well, besides the tulips, those came out really nice, actually, but, you know, they only come out after winter, and you gotta wait a whole year <laughs> to kind of, like, see them, see them come up, so, I mean, the sunflower is like a seed, you just put it in, and then it took, like, maybe a month? Or two to go from a seed to this. So that was cool. Or like, I don't know, I put them in like in June. Uh, and, well, yeah, like maybe May, end of May, I gotta look back. But yeah, it's just so hot. And then, of course, like, it seems like they don't even need that much water, which is great. And the same with the chrysanthemums, they, they look like this, and I. I barely just started watering like once a week maybe in this 100 degree, 110, 109 degree heat. But luckily we've had rain too this summer, I mean this June. And yeah, so I'm going to finish watering this and, or like just water a little bit before it gets too hot now. It's the morning so yeah tried to do it before it gets hot but I got a late start and I had to take my dog for a walk and then I was planting those little flowers so then. okay so yeah I'm gonna redo this area because I got crazy heat and the sun hits it directly now I'm from like 12 till 6 and it's that summer heat so yeah, that did not work out too well, but it's okay. I wasn't planning to cut the tree, and then we cut it, which is great. Okay. This area, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. She's going to put some more bush beans in it. I don't know. Put a cantaloupe right here, maybe, and the, uh, I don't know. I have, I forgot, a pumpkin, I think. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin bush Seed. So I'm going to try that out. It says it can do well in poor soil. <laughs> and it's a bush versus a vine. So I don't know how that'll work. See? See how that goes. And yeah, the ginger is doing great in this heat. Yeah, pretty much. It almost fried too. Even the ginger, it was like turning brown and crispy. I was like, great. Okay. Yeah. And of course, a hand water. <laughs> that will be in the budget next year whenever I <laughs> can figure out like a timer system. I've seen the timers, they're 40 bucks and the drip whatever hose. Yeah. That'll be nice next year. I like coming out here and watering though, but we can, I need, yeah, I need to get prepared for this summer. And then, yeah, the, yeah, I just need to clean up, like always, I will eventually. This thing is blooming though, this, this vine thing is, it's got little flowers all over it. I gotta get this weed out. The, the what is it? Acorn, oak tree, 
that's what I need to do. I need to sell oak plant, oak trees, plants, because that's all that grows over here with this oak tree behind me. Okay, I'm going to make another flower bed right here. I need to clean this up. These almost died, too, because the sun. Make another, and then put some more flowers here, and a little bit of plants that can, that like heat. I don't like the sun with this morning shade. So, yep, there's my update with the degrees. Well, our temperature thingy is in the shade, so that does not help. Yeah, add maybe 10 degrees. I don't know. And it's morning, not afternoon yet, so it's almost 90 there. It's about 90. And then in the sun, it's about, just, yeah, it's actually a cool day. We had a storm. We had, like, a cold front come in, actually. So that's the only reason I'm out here. Because <laughs> otherwise, I, I couldn't do it. I could not imagine digging up dirt yard work in one of those 109 degree days, like, yeah, you need, like, a shade cloth or something. Luckily, I have shade around here, but that's the only reason I'm out here is because it was a cool day today. And I was like, well, perfect timing. Perfect. to, Because I needed to clean up and get my seeds in so that they can start because it'll take a long time to germinate. And then once, it, once the end of July hits, they'll hopefully be... A little bit grown and then they can actually grow throughout August and then into September maybe I don't know all right I gotta go get this done and then maybe do another video next week after my birthday it'll be my birthday so